Hello, hello. So, I wanted to have kind of like, let me push this back, a little bit of a story time. So, I'm doing a video on my phone, and then also one I'm doing the live stream. So, if anybody comes in and comments, and if I miss your comments, please bear with me. Um, so, I wanted to do a little bit, kind of like a story time. Um, just I, I just wanted to share some experiences, what I call like little miracles, you know, um, that I think that in times, if you're going through something or you're having struggles, I think it's really important to remember, you know, just little blessings, maybe big blessings, little blessings, little miracles that is obvious. It's just like, there's no way that you can say that it wasn't like supernatural or, or a miracle or just evidence that, you know, God is always there. And, you know, when you're going through a windstorm or just uh, a trying time, you know, just seems like a black cloud is over your head and... Um, it's, you know, we're not promised an easy life. We're not promised um, times where you're not going to face trials. In fact, especially if you're a believer, you are guaranteed that you are going to have trials and tribulations. And you should fully expect that. Doesn't mean like, you know, you're going to have problems all the time. But absolutely. You know, um, and especially in times where... You know we're to take down strongholds and that is not easy I mean everybody has roles in life you know and maybe some people have something that they do that is just the same thing they do throughout their whole life you know but we all have uh, duties and roles to play and we have times where we have to take up our cross and there's specific purposes God has for you in your life. And it may be times where you are really in the battle. Anywho, so during that time, you know, I've asked for a lot of prayers through different things through the years. And I have been so thankful to all the people who've been my prayer warriors. I cannot express how much I appreciate that. I've been... <laughs> I went through like seven surgeries in three and a half years and oh my word, just wrangling with different things and situations, you know, and good times and bad times and you all have been there and I'm just so thankful. So I wanted to share just little things that have happened that I feel like doing this like little story time, I want to like do this on a regular basis. I want to share these uh, little things that have happened to me in life because I, I don't know if there's one person that could be encouraged or uplifted by little blessings that I have experienced or witnessed I think it's important to share those <clears throat> and I mean I probably have in the past but you know I, I think that this is also our purpose is to to share the, the little miracles you know if you think back through your life on what little things that have happened to you like when I'm getting ready to share to you I think it's important for you to not keep that to yourself so I'm gonna tell two stories where God just really moved in a very I want to say like small miracle kind of way that was really like an instant answer to prayer and it just little things those moments that I remember that like God was really with me and you know I I think it's important to share that and then I want to also share one time <clears throat> that God used me to bless somebody else in like a really miraculous like I don't know Holy Spirit kind of way so anyways so I want to talk about two times where I was really I was in need of food and God just like whew, Sent kisses from heaven, like, instantly. So, one time, I was in college, okay, and um, I was in the National Guard. So, I went into 
the National Guard um, for four years before I went active duty. So as everybody knows me, I'm a veteran. So before I went active duty, I did it backwards. Most people go active duty and then they go in the reserves. Well, I did it backwards. I went National Guard, then I went active duty. So I went to college on the GI Bill. And um, so out of high school, you know, I applied for college and I went and I signed up at the National Guard while I was still in high school. And so I went to National Guard. So from my college, I went to I went straight to a four year university and um, my college was like I wasn't smart enough to get a scholarship. I wasn't athletic enough to get a scholarship. <clears throat> so I had I was in the National Guard. So I had my monthly paycheck, which wasn't very much. And then I had um, the GI Bill, which mm, helped a little bit. And then I, I worked, you know, um, uh, for the university. And I also uh, had Pell Grants. So that's what paid my way through school. So I lived in the dorms. And I don't remember exactly what it was where, I don't know if my check was late or it was back then, you know, I got a, like a check in the mail kind of deal, you know. And so uh, I don't remember what it was. But I was out of food. I had no food, you know. And um, so I had this little dorm fridge, you know, in in my dorm. And I had like, I don't know, like some bologna and some jelly. Like my grandma, my my grandma and my dad said so she would. She taught me when I was young. You know, it was like a delicacy. I know it might sound gross to a lot of people, but you should try it. Don't knock it till you try it. Uh, anyways, fried bologna and jelly. I mean, it was just like a really nice probably not really healthy snack but at any rate I didn't have any food you know and I was expecting my check that day and I was gonna go to the grocery store so I, you know so I, it was like at night and you know I didn't even like have time to like call churches or pantry or something like that and um, I checked my mail or whatever late in the day and my check was on there so anyways I'm like oh dear so I'll go back to my dorm room and I'm just like I have no food so I just, I get on my knees, you know, and, and I'm just praying, God, please help me. You know, um, I don't know what to do. You know, I didn't know when my check was going to get there and I'm out of food. And so I literally no sooner ended my prayer and there was a knock on the door and I'm just like, okay. So I answer, you know, the door and there was one of the, one of the ladies that lived on, on the dorm and she's like, Hey. I got a new car. Will you go for a cruise with me? And I'm like, yeah, okay. You know, I thought, well, that'll take my mind off of my hunger, you know? And she's like, yeah, and I'll treat you to a burger. And I just like almost started crying, right? And so I'm like, yeah, that sounds really great, right? So she had got this new car and she was like, everybody's out. I don't know where they were. And she wanted somebody just to go cruising with in her new car. And I was like, okay. So I go cruising her with, I'm just, sporting around in her new car and she stops we go to sonic or somewhere and get a meal and i was like almost started crying i was like this look on my face she's like what's wrong and i was like you just have no idea i said i'm out of food and you, uh, i said this prayer and you know she wasn't like really a believer but you know i felt it was important to share with her what had just happened and i said i literally just finished her prayer because i was out of food and you knocked on my door and offered to take me out to eat you know go for a cry and I was like she's just like wow you know she was just like really moved by that and she's like girl you know that we have like this this uh pantry in our own dorm I'm like no I didn't know know that so you know we get done cruising and hanging out you know and chatting and stuff and so she when you get back to the dorm and then she knocks on the RA's room and stuff you know and she gives me they're like oh my gosh you know and she's like why didn't you ask for help all this stuff you know and I'm just like well you know and uh so they give me this bunch of soups and stuff you know and it's like the next day you know I check it and it's just you know it just little things like that the timing you know that like she could have knocked on anybody's door you know there was a few people there in in the dorm you know and she just she hit me up i was the one that was available and it just you know it just little stuff like that i mean i no sooner stopped praying and ended my prayer and she knocked on the door it's just like you know it it's just he knows ahead of time you know what our need is and so then another time, another time, <clears throat> it was in really hard times, right? And um, 
oh my goodness you know it's like sometimes when things happen they happen in threes you know and I was just really oh my gosh the groceries you know I'm just sitting there thinking about groceries and I made just a just above enough too much to ask for help you know um and you know a lot of the the pantries and whatever they go by what your income is and so you know they don't really go by you know when you have extra bills that come up or you know emergency stuff that comes up or whatever and so I'm just thinking what am I gonna do you know and I'm kidding you I no sooner just said that prayer and I'm driving down the highway I just said the prayer and cried out to God I'm driving down the highway and there on the highway is just a whole bunch of bags of bread. I call this manna from heaven. I'm like, oh my gosh, and we're talking. I I eat like the very expensive bread. You know, I have you know, I can't just eat any kind of bread, you know, and I I, I had this um it was like organic seven grain bread. I mean, they're this kind of bread that costs five dollars a loaf. I got an entire month's worth of bread just right there on the highway. And it hadn't been run over, not touched or anything. And I'm just like big, huge bags of hamburger buns that are like two pounds. Like this got several. I mean, we're probably talking, it was a month's worth of bread. And I'm just like, wow you know just stuff like that you know i mean that just <laughs> the timing the timing okay right after i end my prayer boom <laughs> just up on the high. i'm just like this is really happening of course i pull over and i'm no shame i'm like that would have been a sin to just drive right by that i'm like oh my goodness and then another time was um okay so I'm at the store and this person that I know a friend of mine comes to my mind and God told me grab a bar of dub soap I'm like okay and I'm gonna take it to this person and I'm just like I don't know what kind of soap this person uses I have no idea I don't like look in her shower and see what kind of soap she's got I had no way of knowing that this particular brand of soap but just God said, get this bar of soap for her. I'm like, okay. All right, then. So I go to her, and, I, you know, I'm going to do it. I say, hey, God told me to get you this bar of soap. <laughs> and she just started crying. And she's like, I apparently it had hit some hard financial times. And she said, I was in the shower. And she goes, I didn't even have any soap. She said, I had just a pinky worth left of soap. She says, like, God, I know you will provide. You know, and so, yeah. I mean, I have so many little stories like that that I can share where God just told me to do something, say something. And, you know, it's just amazing that, you know, I'm sure so many people can think of things like that, experiences like that that they've had in their life where you know you just know it's God okay and um, he is ever present and um, so I just wanted to share that you know and um, and whenever you're in hard times okay and your thoughts are just like on the stress and the stuff that's going on just remember remember the blessings remember go back in your memory storage and remember these things you know like even in the Bible you know when when the Israelites were out in in the wilderness and they were traveling and stuff and they're just like freaking out and focusing on the the troubles that they were having in that moment and God reminded them said don't you remember what I did for you and he commanded them to go back and remember the things that he had done for him. That it was 
definitely God moving, you know, and so, yeah, I just wanted to share those little blessings, you know, that I had experienced, and, um, you know, I, I don't know, I hope maybe that encourages somebody and uplifts somebody, and, um, you know, because I, I can sit here for an hour and talk about uh, the things that I need prayer for, you know, but I want to share those things. Um, and, you know, that time where, it, you know, he blessed me like that, like called it literally manna from heaven. I'm just like, I needed that. It wasn't just so much the provision, you know, that I was having a hard time then. It was just that that he blessed me like that. You know what I mean? Like that driving down the road and praying like, God, what am I going to do about groceries this month? You know, I don't even know for groceries this month. And then I no sooner pray that and this bread shows up on the highway. And we're talking... The fancy stuff. I mean, yeah, there was some, you know, like the hamburger buns, you know, and uh, you can do so many things with sandwiches for those. But we're talking the exact type of the seven grain bread, you know, the expensive kind of bread that I like, you know, because I, I generally with bread, I have to, you know, there's, you know, issues health issues and so bread can be expensive especially that fancy kind of like we're not talking just no generic bread on the we're talking the exact type of the fancy high dollar bread that I like I'm just like this is anyways the timing that was you know he knows and so anyways yeah I just wanted to uh, share that and um, you know I hope that you will share some blessings and you know go back and uh share with other people little things like that that god has done for you you know uh, little blessings in life because i don't know maybe you just never know when somebody may need to to hear that you know but share those things you know those are blessings that god gave you you know and uh let that be something that can be an inspiration to other people you know share share what God has given to you so anyways that's it for this video I just wanted to share that and uh, yeah comment if that you know that was something that encouraged you and maybe share something that happened that was similar to that or some way you know I, I have so many little stories like that that I could share that um, he just moved in the Holy Spirit and you know had me do different things I've witnessed miracles, um, just different prophecy, you know, that there's no way that I can know certain things, you know, that he's had me share with others and just, you know, God is real. That's the bottom line. He's real, you know, and life is not, there's, there's no promise that you aren't going to have hard times. Quite the opposite. If you get in the word and read it, quite the opposite. Okay. So, but in all things, give thanks. Thanks for watching.